Being scared is okay. Fear is okay. It's how you deal with fear and when it turns to panic. Panic is like when it just falls off the edge of the cliff and everything goes, goes south. I think uh, the one place I've learned the most is probably the ocean. Because it's just presented so many different ways to uh, go through so many different emotions and, and uh, it's taught me so many different things along my path because um, it is just like the ultimate teacher in my, in my eyes, right? Um, it's just very humbling and, and it's something that it's this, this relationship that you have and um, I mean, I, I'm not going to lie, I've been scared to death. I've, felt like I was gonna die, I've cried, I've had like the highest of highs and the lowest of lows and, and it's really um, made me just have the highest level of respect for it and so it's, it's been a, a journey that I've just embraced. You know you kind of don't really realize it when you're a kid. You're like I just want to surf, I love surfing, this is so cool. You know, and like you just want to experience all these different things and you push yourself and get into riding a little bit bigger waves and a little bit bigger waves and next thing you know you're in waves that you don't want to ride because they're too big and you know, so it just becomes this this challenge and it's never the same, it's always evolving and it's it's mysterious. There's <laughs> so many things, right? Yeah. So it's, um, yeah, it's helped me become mentally, uh, I don't know, I guess tough. Mm -hmm. Resilient. Right? Resilient. Yeah. Resilient's a good word. Uh -huh. Yeah, you got to be kind of ready for anything. Mm -hmm. And especially when you're a competitive athlete, competitive surfer, I'd say especially a surfer, you know, we're not showing up and it's not the same court every time. It's like you can't train for like this event is going to guaranteed be on this court or this in this environment. You have no idea. I've surfed heats when it was like raining sideways and just like, you can't even believe that judges can even see you. You're so far out in the ocean, and like crazy elements. And then I surfed heats where it was just glorious, like beautiful, sunny, tropical Tahiti, best thing you could ever imagine. But you can't go into it thinking like that, right? You gotta just come in with a very, just prepared for anything and, and be ready, ready. Just be ready. Right on. Is there one, perhaps, specific story throughout your life or career in the water where you felt maybe either the most scared or overwhelmed or had to face something that felt like you didn't know if you could get over it and then you, you did and you kind of came out the other side? Yeah, I didn't grow up surfing big waves. So going to Hawaii my first couple times, I was quite often in, in situations where I was, I was scared and I was put into these scenarios where I was going surfing with friends of mine who were just more comfortable and maybe a little crazier than me. And uh, so I had to dig deep and find, I, I found myself on the beach and I, I vividly remember a couple times just everything in my mind telling me to not paddle out. Like, like, it is, I'm, not, I'm looking at this just ocean that is so far beyond me and my comprehension that like, I'm like, what am I doing right now? Like, why am I doing this? And, but I'm with a group of guys that all just jump in the water and paddle out and you're like, okay, this is peer pressure, I guess. Like some form of it, uh -huh. let's go. I mean, I, I have to go, like I can't stay on the beach. And the longer I stay on the beach, the farther away that they get. So I'm like, I'd rather be with them. Mm -hmm. So then I find myself just paddling out, scared out of my mind and putting myself into situations where you're like riding this line, like being scared is okay, right? It's when that fear, like fear is okay. It's how you, it's how you deal with fear and when it turns to panic. Panic is like when it just falls off the edge of the cliff and everything goes, goes south, right? And it's so I found myself like on the edge of that cliff like many times and and fighting that urge of, of panic and and being held underwater and you know fighting for air and and then uh, surviving and coming coming back to the beach and and learning from that and being like okay I went out into something that 
Like, I felt like I had no place in being, and I came back in, and I'm, I'm in one piece. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm here, mm -hmm. like, I did it. And you learn, and you continue, and you grow from that, and it's just like this never ending, right? You know, like, growing up, kind of the only route we had was to be a competitive surfer. It was, uh, you know, go through the amateur ranks and get on the, on the qualifying circuit and then qualify the tour, and that was, that was it. And when you did that, every year you just got a schedule. And it was like, I'm here, 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 here. Like, there was years I was gone from home for 10 months out of the year. And it's, we didn't have coaches, we didn't have people traveling with us. I, I took my dad sometimes, I took a friend, but most of the time we traveled together with other guys on tour. And it's like, we're booking our rental cars, our flights, we're, you know, figuring out like what boards we need and equipment, wetsuits, everything at all these different locations. Um, and sometimes you're going to multiple locations at one on one trip, right? And so you're like p packing and all this crazy stuff. And like the one constant that I figured out was how to like, or I would always pay attention to was how to stay healthy and maintain a certain level of, of, of health and fitness because, you know, for example, like we'd finish the US Open on a Sunday and we'd be on a flight either that night or the next morning straight to Europe and on Wednesday you're potentially surfing a heat. And so it's like you're jet lagged, you're exhausted, you're, you know, you're, now you're on like, you're trying to find food that you can like get your diet mm -hmm. and you're up, you know, waking up at 7 a.m in Europe when you're just in the United States is like so upside down, it's so wrong. And like dealing with that and, and to go out and perform at a, like at 100% was like one of, I, f I figured that that was the most challenging. And listening to your body, taking care of your body, right? It's like, oh man, I'm tight, I'm stiff, this, that, whatever it is. And like, how do I overcome that? And how do I get myself into a good place mm -hmm. to perform how I need to. Incredible. Right? Yeah. If you're surfing six hours a day, it's like, okay, at night you gotta wind down, yeah. like recover, stretch, mm -hmm. and like let your body heal and mm -hmm. rest because you might get up and do it again the next mm -hmm. day. Somebody wants in. <laughs> um, whereas, you know, as I evolved um, and transitioned into being a free surfer, it kind of flip the script mm. like going back to what I said you know yeah. it's like I used to have this like like crazy schedule mm -hmm. and it was just like from January 1 to December and all of a sudden when I got off tour that piece of paper was blank and it was like wait I can do whatever I want like I can go on a trip with this guy and I can pick the people I want to travel with and I'm not traveling with the circus of 40 guys and you know, um, everybody's super aggressive. I'm going to surf and to just really free myself and to spend time at home and learn what it is like to have time and to be able to like work on my equipment, work on myself, you know, and really pay attention to my recovery, my surf time, my recovery time um, and just being more more present. Well, are you ready to get frosty? Are we ready to, to get in the water? My heart just got... <laughs> heart rate just went up. Right on? Yeah, I'm ready. You ready? Okay, let's do it. What's up everyone? My name is Rob Machado. I am a professional surfer. Um, we are here in Cardiff by the sea and I just submerged myself into this beautiful little weapon, the Edge Theory Lab cold plunge. Today it was down in the 30s and uh, it was cold but it felt incredible. I did two minutes and uh, I really had to find my breath. Let's put it that way. I highly recommend it. 